Uh, yeah, I feel good right now. Um, coming off the off season, had some surgeries and stuff, so feel a lot better uh, going in. So it's just a, it's just a constant thing, just working on recovery, making sure you're getting in the tubs after practice. So it's a it's an ongoing process, but I feel good. How hard was it in spring to, to just not be able to do the things you normally do? Yeah, no, it was my it was uh, not a fun spring going through surgeries and stuff. So. I mean, it, it was part of it. People go through surgeries all the time, so it was just, it was a new experience for me, but everybody's, everybody goes through it. I had two. I had a hip scope and then a sports hernia surgery. Who's impressing you in that room? I mean, besides the tech, who's jumping I mean, our group is really good right now. It's uh, pretty deep. There's a lot of guys that can play, uh, play for us this year, but uh, off the jump, I think Va. Voss had a really good camp this year. Um, he's made a he's made a lot of improvements. He had a full spring last year, and he had a he had a really good spring summer. So, uh, for me, it's Voss right now. He's uh, playing playing really good ball right now. You kind of admire a guy like that who uh, I mean he's, he's kind of had to be patient as he's learned the position. Just yeah. The process he's been through. No, he works his tail off. Like he's. He's in the film room all the time. He's in the weight room all the time. Like he, he works his tail off. So you just have to respect it. And uh, uh, but yeah, he's done a great, great job of being that kind of the wait, waiting his turn and stuff. And uh, I think he'll get a good opportunity this year. Is his skill set similar to yours? I mean, he's a pretty great. He's not. He's not. The, he's not as tall as Nick, obviously. Yeah. Said, yeah. No. He's. He's not. He's definitely not the the biggest guy, but he's really fast and he just finds the ball. Um, he. He times up blitzes extremely well. Best, he's probably the best in the room at it. So yeah, he's. I would say he's pretty, pretty similar to me, where we're not very big, but we're pretty, pretty fast. So. Luke, there's a, I think, and maybe this is a media presumption that maybe the defense, because of some of the players who left, Damian and, and JoJo and others, that it may not. It would be. A, it would be good to just maintain where you guys were last year. What's the mindset within that room, and how much better do you think you guys can be even from last year? Yeah, I mean, last year, like we have the thought process of just elevating. Like we were, we were good last year, but we were still a three and nine uh, win team or a three and nine record team. Like it's that that wasn't the st that wasn't good enough last year. So it's just building on what we did last year, where we had a pretty good year on that side of the ball, but uh, our record didn't show up for. It, and that's really all we care about this year is just flipping those those two numbers. Where, where might the defense take a, a, an additional step even from last year? Um, I mean. It's just, it's just building off that. Like towards the end of the year, we were starting to get banged up, but I think that's how it is every single year. Um, so this year, like we have some more depth. Like we have we have a lot of new faces in there. So it's just building up those guys, getting them, getting them quality reps in this uh, camp and spring we had last year. So uh, I think it's going to be uh, really good and just uh, working on our depth and stuff. Um, just understanding uh, kind of the issues in the defense and not like not necessarily being surprised by some of these like uh, plays that we're seeing and just really fine tuning uh, the small details uh, in, within each defense is kind of what I've been focusing on uh, this off season. You and Nick have a lot of snaps this mm -hmm. year. Are you welcoming a maybe deeper rotation on the linebacker spot? Um, I mean, yeah, like the more guys we can play, the better. Um, and I think we'll have that opportunity this year with some of the uh, other guys like Vaughn and Snods. Um, so yeah, I mean, it is at the end of the day, it's which what it's what uh, Coach Rude wants. Um, so if he if he wants to stick with that two man rotation like he had last year, like we're we're gonna roll with it. If he wants three or four guys rolling in, uh, that's what we're gonna do. But yeah, I'm just uh, pretty much along for the ride on that one. From your vantage point, what makes you optimistic that special teams will improve? <clears throat> Uh, Coach Bush has definitely uh, uh, put a put a gr great like uh, edge on the special teams. Like he comes into meetings every morning, just uh, firing guys up. So um, yeah, Coach Bush has definitely put a put a new spin on special teams, and uh, it's just kind of the collective uh, group is just working extremely hard in all the drills and uh, all the uh, full team reps that we're doing. Like it's just uh, it's just a um, just a hard working mentality on that side of uh, the ball. It's different when a guy doesn't have a position to coach, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, like now he's just he's focused solely on uh, special teams and he's leading all those meetings and stuff. So on the field with us, so it's uh, it's really good to have him and uh, 
what uh, what energy he brings to that uh, special teams unit. Your coach Kutcher was being asked about Curtis uh, Houseman a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, what's sort of your impression of him so far? Really impressed. He comes in here and does the uh, does the right thing. Like he's a he's a new guy, but it like from his habits and from his routine, it seems like he's a, a fourth year senior guy. So. Um, he, I've got nothing but good things to say about Ernest. Uh, he'll, he's going to play a lot of snaps here.